With thousands of people without power in Kansas City, people are doing anything to stay warm, staying with family, going to shelters, and even hotels. Well, they're also buying up those generators, but that type of equipment can have some dangerous downsides. 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts joins us live with the pros and the cons. I know you were having a hard time finding generators. Jordan, did you find some in the city? So I actually didn't find any in the city. Many of the places that we went to either didn't sell them because they didn't think, well, snow was going to happen much this season, or they were completely sold out. This is just one generator here at our coworker's house. It's keeping her house warm, but it's only keeping partial of her house warm. Now we went to, uh, we went to Ranch Mart East Hardware earlier today where they were sold out. Now some of these generators do range from about $500 to a couple thousand dollars. Now it could be an inconvenience to some families not expecting to spend this kind of money and it can keep your house warm but it also has its downsides. You just got to look at what, what you need for your house. What, what, like if your refrigerator or your food went out, how much is that going to cost you? You know, or pipes freeze, things like that. You know, the generators are gasoline engines, gasoline powered engines. They make carbon monoxide just like your car. And so you definitely don't want to run one of those in the house. You don't even want to run one of those in your garage. Now, if you do decide to get a generator, like I said, it's a very costly thing. Keep it pretty. You don't want to put it right next to your house. They have a good safe distance of where this generator is, as well as keep a close eye on it. You don't want to lose us and get it stolen if you don't have power when the next winter, winter storm comes. Live in Waldo, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News. Important information, Jordan. Thank you. And in addition to never running a generator inside your house or garage, the American Red Cross says it's also important to let the generator cool off completely before refueling it. Never plug the generator into a wall outlet. It can put you, your neighbors, and linemen in risk of electrocution. Even with that one extension cord with 120 volts, it will go back through the transformer. Inside the transformer, it will actually bump the voltage back up to a primary voltage. It may not be the full primary voltage, but it might be three, 4,000 volts that it steps it up to. And then what's that enough to do? That is enough to blow off body parts, kill you. Um, it, it would not be good. Crews say the easiest thing you could do is to turn off the main breaker in your house while using a generator.